equilibrium equation for confined aquifer. In previous slide, we had done the unconfined aquifer. Now let's see the equation for a confined aquifer. See, here is the diagram of a confined aquifer. You can uh, you can get a clear idea about the confined aquifer, and you can differentiate the unconfined as well as a confined aquifer properly. See, here also there is a ground level and there is a impervious strata. And again, one main well is uh, penetrated into a uh, aquifer uh, up to a uh, impervious strata. But after certain distance, the this aquifer is confined, or the there is a confining layer is available above the impervious strata. So through this layer, this well is is penetrated into the or up to the impervious strata. Hence, this type of aquifer is known as a confined aquifer because this aquifer is let down and the well is let down in between the two layer. One is confining and second one is the impervious one. The between these two zones, two layer, hence this is called as a confined aquifer. You can see here, like in a unconfined aquifer, here also a initial water level. Again, the uh, there is a final water level uh, after uh, when once the pump water is pumped out, the water which is uh, present in the well is shown by the drawdown, which is equal to the S so small capital S. Then the level of final level of a water is uh, shown by the small h. Capital H gives us the initial water level or the total length of the aquifer up to a initial water level. Then again here according to the themes uh, we are taking two observation well which is having a H1 and H2 respectively the depth of a water level and the S1 and S2 draw down in the particular well respectively. Well, up to the center of the main well, we have the radius of a zero drawdown or a influence radius line that is shown by the R1 and R2. We have the radius of a well which is denoted by the small r and the capital R uh, from the center of the main well up to the cone of the uh, coincidence point of a cone of a depression on the initial water level is known as a radius of a zero drawdown. Again here there is a one new term or one new concept is that there is a B width of a strainer is given. See and the arrow is shown. This arrow, what is the meaning of this arrow? Once the water is pumped out, once the water is excavated from this well, again, when the uh, through the aquifer zone, through the various porous zone, the level of the water again rises up, again rise up to the initial water level or up to the ground water level according to the type of a soil which is present under the ground. So the flow of the water through this confining aquifer only, this water will get percolated inside this confined aquifer. So this is the B width of a or we can say the thickness of a confined aquifer. This is the proper thickness of a confined aquifer. Here also we are taking one point that is P point it is having uh, coordinates of a, uh, with, uh, it is taking uh, with respect to the origin O and uh, having a coordinates as a X and Y. So let's start with our uh, derivation. We know that the P point is taken and the P point uh, has the coordinates of X and Y. So according to the Darcy's law again, we know that Q is equal to 
के आई इन टू एरिया सो हियर एरिया इज टेकन एज टू पाए सरकम प्रस ऑफ द वेल टू पाए एक्स इन टू बी हियर वी आर टेकिंग द हाइट ऑफ अ कन्फाइंड लेयर कन्फाइंड एक्वीफर एज अ बी इन कन्फाइंड एक्वीफर वी आर कंसिडरिंग दैट स्टोरेज कोफिशियंट इज अप टू द हाइट फाइनल वॉटर लेवल हियर वी आर टेकिंग द thickness of a confined aquifer that is b through this section only the water will get percolated water will get stored into the well that's why the cross sectional area is 2 pi x into b again the hydraulic gradient is t is equal to delta y or dy by the dx then substitute the value in the equation that is k into delta y by delta x 2 pi x p rearrange the term q into dx upon x is equal to k or 2 pi k b delta y integrate this equation with the limits of r to the r for x direction and h small h for y direction so we get after integrating this q integration dx upon x with the limits of capital r to the r is equal to 2 pi kb integration y we don't have a y here we have a only delta y again there is a mistake typing mistake is there so 2 pi kb integration delta y with the limit capital h to the small h so here we have after integrating 1 upon x we get log of x to the base e with the limit capital r to the r is equal to 2 pi kb and delta y becomes a single y with the limits of capital h to the h from which we will get the value is q is equal to 2 pi kb capital h minus small h divided by log to the base e capital r divided by small r when we uh, take or we consider this equation in terms of log to the base 10 we will get the equation is 2.72 bk into capital h minus h divided by log to the base then capital r upon small r so this is the equation when the main well is given main well is given then we can simply use this equation and we can find out the discharge value again uh, you can see here that uh, in the previous unconfined aquifer h capital h minus h is nothing but the drawdown s you can uh, if uh, you want to see the image or diagram of the confined aquifer you can see that capital h minus small h gives us the drawdown s value hence here they are substituting the h minus h value as s so final value will be 2 pi p k into s upon log to the base e capital r upon r and again we if we want to want this equation in terms of log to the base 10 then we will get this equation as 2.72 b k s upon log to the base 10 capital r upon r again we know that the transmissibility is uh, with respect to the confined aquifer so for the confined aquifer we have the thickness of aquifer with us that is b and then then we multiply this thickness of a aquifer with the coefficient of permeability we will get the transmissibility so we had already discussed if you have any confusion just uh, listen that video listen that particular slide
so you will get the proper idea so here uh, the p into k is nothing but a t so we can uh, substitute the value b into k as a t so the final value if see why this equation uh, is again and again uh, modified because uh, if the t value is directly given in the numerical then put the t value simply in this equation uh, find out the value of a discharge if t is not given if thickness is given if uh, coefficient is given then put the value of this equation and you can find out the uh, discharge value by using any of this question or any of this equation so hence uh, for this purpose only this equation has been modified again and again so we know that the coefficient of uh, transmissibility is nothing but the b into k and s is nothing but a drawdown at the fan see this equation i told you that uh, the uh, this equation can be modified uh, then later on modified by the themes uh, equation or this is modified by the theme hence this equation is called as a theme equation again the theme had decided to uh, penetrate the two observation cell so the after penetrating this observation cell we will get the final equation as 2.72 pk h2 minus h1 log to the base then r2 upon r1 so we can use this value or we can use this equation and find out uh, the our final discharge of a confined aquifer through the confined aquifer so i hope you understand this equilibrium equation there is uh, nothing uh, nothing any um, difficult point because we are using here darcy's law as a base and uh, once once we know the darcy's law after that we are going to substitute the value one by one considering one point on the drawdown uh, or on the cone of a depression then one by one we have to follow the mathematical equation and finally we get the value which is useful for finding out the discharge from the unconfined as well as the confined aquifer